NSS4 and Neon have quite a few options for routing, both manual and automatic. Uh, when you tap a point in the chart, it will bring up, uh, there I tapped on a route, so it brought up, or excuse me, an existing track, so it brought that up. But if you just tap a spot on the chart, it will bring up the auto route here option, or you can do as I did there, um, which is tap on the screen and then select to build a route. Uh, with that, you get the route preview, but now I can add additional points, route points, and it will construct additional legs. So now I've added a third route point here. It's going to construct that third leg. We see that, but I also have the option to tap each leg and tap the little route icon to the right of the leg on the right side of the screen. That will toggle it between a manually created point-to-point -point route and an auto-routed route that will follow depth contours in order to find a potentially safe route. Uh, we'll get a little bit into some of the foibles of automatic routing. Uh, I'll just leave you with the thought that any automatically constructed route should be carefully vetted and uh, checked for uh, both logic and uh, safe navigational conditions. So you want to make sure you've got enough water, uh, you want to look anytime it's going the wrong side of a mark, etc. But here we've built a route. Uh, that route starts well ahead of the boat. So uh, if I were to just start navigation, you can see it's going to try and take me in a straight line to that first route waypoint. Uh, I have the option now to go in and edit the route, which I'm going to do here, and drag that first waypoint back closer to the boat. So I'll do that in a second, and then we'll be able to see the automatic routing engine recalculate the route and figure out a, a safe path or a theoretically safe path to cover the whole route. So now we've got the route uh, much closer to the boat. I've got a linear path to get there. I can hit start routing and I'm off to the races and on my route. Uh, the route is color coded to indicate where there's good depth, suspect depth, and then in red, perhaps insufficient depth. Okay, so now let's take a look at planning another route. This time we'll go upriver. And to make it a little more challenging, we're going to go into a marina where I frequently go to get fuel. Uh, so I'll zoom in, find an area in the channel, hit the auto route here button. It plots the route and mm, it went straight across land. You can see there's a marked channel there at the top of the screen, but it decided to go across the land. So remember when I said to watch the routes that are plotted pretty carefully? This would be an indication of why. Otherwise, the route's pretty good. It goes down the river, continues through the channel. Uh, but right here, we find another interesting one. You can see the red and green marks. Those are lateral marks, so we're you know expecting red to the starboard side of the channel since we're coming upstream, uh, red right returning. But nope, we decide to go ahead and leave that red uh, mark on the port side of the boat, which is probably not the best way through here. So coming back to that thought, always take a careful look at the routes it plans.